What's going on everybody? So I'm doing another signature deep dive today, at least for me. I've never heard of this band before. They're called Avalanche, and the name of the song is In the Theater of Fire, which I really like the name of this song. It's really, really cool. But anywho, you know, as always on these deep dives, make sure you got your scuba mask, your oxygen tank, it's all hooked up. Uh, you don't want to be deep, you know, underwater and, and running out of oxygen. So, because we're, we're going down or we're trying to find some gems, some hidden pearls uh, of uh, power and symphonic metal. So, make sure the oxygen's topped off uh, and you got your little flippers and whatnot and, and you're good to go. So, anywho, uh, like I said, Avalanche is the name of the band and In the Theater of Fire is the name of the song. Let's give this a shot, uh, shall we? I always enjoy checking out these uh, new type of bands. Well, I'm not, actually not sure if they're new or not, to be honest with you, but they're new for me. So, yeah, let's see what we got, shall we? Rangers, go.
Was it a dream or was it reality? Hmm. I don't know, it seems like kind of like a Moon Knight situation. She goes to sleep and then she wakes up and there's stuff that, uh, although she seemed to recall, she just thought it was a dream, but I guess she went to this theater, uh, some kind of a, a ritual kind of junk going on. I don't know. Pretty cool video. I, you know, I give them a lot of props uh, for doing that. Um, you know, it had a, a decent quality to it, and it was pretty cool and uh, interesting style, and like with the masks and you know, like I said, that whole kind of ritual cult almost kind of vibe. But really neat. They they did a good job with the video. I'm impressed. I'm also impressed with the song. To be honest with you, it was a really solid uh, symphonic metal song. Um, you know, I did like the melody. I did like the chorus too, you know, you know, at first it took a little bit for me to really get into it, but by the end, you know, I was on board with the, the melody and, and uh, the style and all of that. It just had a nice sound and the music, the musicianship in this song, uh, I really, really enjoyed. I mean, the keyboard work and the guitar work, the, the solo and stuff, really top notch. I enjoyed it a lot, you know, the just the keyboard had little... Uh, there was, it was a pretty, I would say, you know, it, it's hard for me to necessarily say complex, but it, it, it had a lot of uh, intricate um, little, uh, I don't know the quite right word to say, but, you know, it had little flavors, you know, of intricacy, you know, sprinkled throughout to, to really keep it sounding um fresh and, and not just kind of s s staying the path of just kind of like a standard you, you hear in the verses you got this riff and then here in the chorus you got this there were little things sprinkled throughout that were really nice that added you know to the, the, the flavor of it to like I said kind of keep it fresh especially like with the keyboard with the little more uh, piano or keyboard sounds and less of the synth and you know it would just be thrown in there and the, the guitar work was really solid, like I said, and uh, just the musicianship in general, you know, the drums and the, everything was, was really good. I enjoyed the music a lot, and I, I do like her voice. Uh, she has really solid vocals. My only, only critique uh, that I have, which I, I find myself having this critique uh, relatively often uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but the vocals sounded a little muted. They, they sounded a little, I, I would have preferred the vocals to have just had a little oomph given to them, you know, perhaps in the mix. You know, I, that, that's my only critique is that, you know, I feel like the vocals in, in a lot of spots just get lost in the mix. Uh, they just kind of get drowned out a little bit by the music. So I would have pumped the vocals up a little bit just to, to have them kind of be up above the, the music, especially in some sections, because it just gets lost a little bit. And, and I like her voice, and I, I think it would have really added to the song to have her vocals a little bit more in the forefront, um, because it, it just would have completed the package, in my opinion. Because there were spots where it did sound a little bit more up front, and I, that, it, it just, perfect just really great when, when that hit, you know, it was chef's kiss, as they say, uh, when uh, it, it just felt like it all came together, um, and it, it was magic when that was happening, but uh, for 80% of the song, I would say, I, I, I just felt like I wanted to hear the vocals a little more, it just needed a little more fullness given to them uh, on top of the music, but... Um, Aside from that, you know, I'm, I'm quite impressed. A very solid uh, symphonic metal song here. Um, really great musicianship. Uh, solid vocalist. I just wish that the vocals were given a little bit more uh, in the mixing or, or whatnot. But, yeah, aside from that, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this song. Good stuff. I'll have to, to check up on these folks and, and see, you know, what else they're releasing or if there's any albums coming out or anything like that because I'm just not sure. But... I do like what I hear. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this one. And uh, I'll catch you all next time, Ranger.